Hello, my name is Kays and welcome to another tutorial for DaVinci Resolve 15. Before I move on, you might have noticed that there's a brand new intro for this uh, video and that's because I just started a new channel on YouTube called Right Brained Tutorials. I'm going to post the link down below so you can find it very easily and uh, please consider subscribing to it and telling your friends about it. Okay, so what I wanted to talk about today is something that I see coming up in the forums quite a bit, which is how to deal with different frame rate footage within the same timeline. So how do you get Resolve to play back those clips properly? Okay, there's, um, there's a little bit of confusion. Let me see if I can kind of clarify some things. So uh, this is uh, some footage that we shot last year from a music video that I directed. And uh, if I click on this, look at the metadata, then Resolve is telling me that this clip was shot at 23.976 frames per second. And if I click and drag this into my media pool, I'll get typically this warning if I have a different frame rate. And it says, uh, would you like to change your timeline frame rate so that it matches the incoming video clip? I say, yes, of course, change. And then if I go in my edit window and drag and drop this clip into my timeline and hit play, and this is exactly the way we shot it, and this is what we intended this clip to look like. So far, so good. Now, let's go back into the media pool and uh, drag a clip that we actually shot in uh, slow motion. Uh, I'm going to choose this one. Okay, so this was shot like on a Panasonic GH5, and if I uh, highlight this uh, particular clip, it will say here that it was shot at 59.940 drop frame. So let me click and drag this into my media pool and then I'm going to place it into our timeline like so. Now if I hit play, this is what happens. Um, Resolve is actually favoring the clip's overall length and it's kind of uh, doing some internal calculation and you'll see that it's very choppy. So this looks all wrong and um, I really want this to be in slow motion and instead Resolve is literally compressing the time to try to play it back as if we intended this to be in real time. So how do I fix this? I've seen some people on um, the forums, they'll say, oh, you know, just right click and I'll go under change clip speed and it's like, I want this to be like half as fast. So I'm just going to put this at like 50%, click change. And now if I play back, it's like, uh, yeah, I mean, it's in slow motion, but this is not really what you want to do. I think you're, uh, you're likely to introduce some artifacts as Resolve is basically first squishing and then de-squishing the same video clip. So I wouldn't recommend doing this. The best way to do this, and let me just get rid of this clip on the timeline, is actually to go to your actual footage and right click on it and select clip attributes in the menu. And under clip attributes, you'll see that uh, under the video tab, you'll see that the video frame rate is set at 59.94 uh, frames per second using drop frame. While this is truly what the video was shot at, we want to use it as a slow motion. So we want this frame rate to actually kind of play back at 23.976, which is our session's frame rate. If you uh, don't know what our session frame rate is, just um, click on the little gear icon and this is the timeline frame rate 23.976 playback frame rate 23.976 so this is how we want this clip to play back as we want it to play back at 23.976 so if I click on this I make this change right here click OK and then drag this into my timeline right off the bat you'll see that our clip is a lot longer right because now Resolve is preserving all the frames that we shot and now if I hit play the video is playing back in slow motion exactly the way we intended it at the proper amount of frames per second that matches our session. So this is uh, this is exactly what we intended for this uh, video to look like and, uh, and this is how you do it. Uh, in some cases, depending on the camera that you're shooting with, um, the camera might actually add metadata that actually fits your desired result. So um, in this particular case, the Panasonic GH5 does not do that. And as I said, like, you know, it's, it will actually display the frame rate that we selected in camera. However, uh, we shot this on a red Scarlet and we have some footage here 
and I know this was shot at, I think like uh, we overcracked it to 120 frames per second. And if I highlight this clip here, you'll see that Resolve is actually interpreted this correctly and saying, oh, okay, it's 23.976, even though I remember when we were on location, we specifically overcranked this to be 120 frames per second. So if I click this particular clip in our timeline and go under my edit and bring it into uh, my timeline, I hit play and this is indeed at the proper speed that we intended it's a slow motion which is what we wanted all along so depending on the camera that you're using you might or might not need to actually go into the clip attributes to change the frame rate um, and one of the things that actually surprised me was um, i shot something on my iphone in uh, slow motion and um, the iphone also will interpret correctly what you're trying to do. It will say, okay, you know, I understand that you don't actually want this to play back at 120 frames per second. I understand that you actually want it to be in slow motion. You want it to play back at, uh, in this case, 30 frames per second, and but display in your video as if it was slow motion footage. So if I drag this video clip that I uh, recorded on my iPhone and go into my timeline and drag it into my edit, now you'll see that the video is indeed playing back in slow motion. Now, one of the things that I could do if I wanted to is actually, let's remove this clip here, is actually change the clip attributes and and the video frame rate is like 30 frames per second. I can say, well, no, no, no. play back at 23.976, which actually buys me even some additional uh, slow motion kind of um, effect. So uh, you, you might have noticed the clip is actually like a little bit longer. And uh, if I hit play, it will be even that much more in slow motion. So um, until next time, this is Case. I hope you enjoyed it. And please check out my brand new channel, Right Brained Tutorials, right here on YouTube. Thank you very much.